Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to tell you guys how to jailbreak iOS 7.0.5 untethered using the latest version of Evasion 7. Now, as some of you may recall from last week, iOS 7.0.5 doesn't affect everybody, and I'll give you guys some more information in just a second. So first of all, I'm going to open up Safari here and discuss the latest version of Evasion. So today, in somewhat of a surprise release, the Evaders issued Evasion 1.0.5 to add jailbreak 7.0.5. 5 support to their untethered iOS 7 utility for all devices. Interestingly, last week, as I mentioned before, Apple pushed out iOS 7.0.5 to select iPhone 5S and iPhone 5C models compatible with China's network in non-US countries to correct network provisioning complications. Similar to previous iterations of Evasion 7, though, the latest 1.0.5 update is still a one-click jailbreak 7.0.4 utility that's also capable of jailbreaking 7.0.5 and all previous versions of iOS 7 on the iPhone 5S, iPhone 5C, iPhone 5, iPhone 4, iPhone 4S, the fifth generation iPod Touch, the iPad Air, the iPad Mini 2, or the second generation iPad Mini with the Retina display, the fourth generation iPad, the third generation iPad, the iPad 2, and iPad Mini models. Now, for those of you who are already jailbroken on 7.0.4, there's no need to download Evasion 1.0.5 and re jailbreak as the new utility simply adds. 7.0.5 support. So again, you will not need to read jailbreak. So of course, early this morning in a short and concise tweet, Pod2G of the Evaders announced on his official Twitter account that the team release Evasion 7 1.0.5 to again include jailbreak support for those who mistakenly updated to iOS 7.0.5. As I already stated, this new utility will function with all versions of iOS 7 and all iOS 7 based devices, including 7.0.5 for non-US iPhone 5S and iPhone 5C models. So in order to get started, in order to jailbreak 7.0.5, all you need to do is download Evasion 1.0.5 and follow my untethered iOS 7.0.4 jailbreak tutorial, which I will also have a link to down below in the more info. So just be sure to check there and follow the tutorial. The only thing that's different is that the iPhone demonstrated in this guide is on 7.0.4, but it will work for 7.0.5. I would actually recreate this tutorial using an iPhone 5S on 7.0.5. However, of course, I do live inside the US, so that's not really a possibility for me. Again, just to remind you guys, iOS 7.0.5 was issued for non US iPhone models. So if you live inside the US or you don't see 7.0.5, then iOS 7.0.4 is the latest public firmware. And if you're not currently jailbroken, just be sure to do so soon as it's already been confirmed that Apple will indeed patch the Evasion 7 untethered jailbreak with the release of iOS 7.1, because not only did they patch a crucial kernel exploit in the fourth beta iteration of 7.1, but also in yesterday's release of iOS 7.1, beta 5, Apple further patched the vulnerabilities that Evasion 7 exploits to again achieve an untethered jailbreak. So just be sure to jailbreak if you're not already jailbroken. Of course, I hope you guys liked this video. And if you didn't, you want a chance to enter to win a $100 Amazon gift card, just be sure to rate it up and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section. Once your comment's been posted, you'll be automatically entered to win. To summarize one last time, if you want to jailbreak 7.0.5, download the latest version of Evasion 7 being 1.0.5 and follow my untethered 7.0.4 jailbreak tutorial, which I will have a link to below. If you're already jailbroken, there's no need to read jailbreak. You're good to go. Just be sure to open up Cydia and download any and all available updates and your device will have the latest files from both the Evaders and Sarek, the creator of Cydia. Now, if you guys want to be updated more often, such as when I release new videos and cover jailbreak topics, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.